Am I done? Oh my gosh. Good morning, hopefuls. How are you doing today? I hope you are learning how to have hope in each day, in each passing situation. Today is one of those days. Let's get today started. <laughs> Harder, you remember my tea hat that I made? Well, this is it. I'm here, and this is where I'm speaking at. And she is working hard at making some <laughs> yummy sandwiches. They look so good. So good. so good. Avocado and cucumber, and girl, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, um, in the meantime, the church that we're attending now, they were, they have been with us through this, this trial. They, they were there when Elijah passed. They, they allowed us to grieve and the church we're at was a place of restoration and healing. So we would force ourselves to go to church because I, I just needed something. I needed something. I feel, I felt something like I need to do something. And my husband and I, and my older son were just so heartbroken. Um, we just didn't understand the things of God and the way God works and why and we always question. Trying to, I'm the kind of person that has always been kind of a joyful person. I've always had a joyful, happy heart. God, that's the way God created me. So anytime I dwelt in the depression and dwelt in the negative, I felt so sick. I was physically getting sick. I was physically ill. So I forced myself to try to think on positive things of how much Elijah had changed this world. He was just an amazing child. And how many souls he's reached and how happy he was. He was a happy, joyful child. So I would always lean on these things. Something in my spirit told me to never let go. Don't let go. You know, like Rose from the Titanic. Oh, never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. <laughs> and that's how I kept them thinking was, I'll never let go. In tarnation, are we doing here? Getting me a second cup of coffee. At Deo Expresso. I had such an amazing time at the women's lunch and we ha I had like peppermint bark tea. It was so delicious. I'm gonna have to go buy myself some peppermint bark tea. But it made, I ate some, for the first time, some pickled okras too. I had like many firsts today, it was great. But I had an amazing time speaking at um, the ladies lunch in and everybody was crying ugly tears. We were all crying ugly tears. And I just know that it, it, it was my goal to reach out, make, give hope to other people through our story. And so I believe that did happen today. So um, maybe one day I will post the full story on YouTube. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Thank you. Boo! Boo! Coffee and nobody's coming, nobody's coming, nobody's coming. Nope, somebody's... You, yeah, you crazy woman. Mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's what I'm talking about, how you doing? And you would have had to have been with us for probably at least two years to know this man. He was actually my partner, kind of my boss when I was doing vacuums. Were you uh, doing vacuums two years ago? Uh-huh. I only quit three months before Elijah passed. Really? Uh, yeah. I thought you were... And uh, he's really special to me. I don't talk to him much. I don't talk to anybody much, but you Both guys. Both him and his wife are special to us. Yes. They very... have been there for us. You have no idea how much Pastor Steve has been there for Ronnie for so long that uh, these guys have a special place in our hearts. And I had the opportunity to speak at his church service tomorrow. So this is exciting. I'm exciting. So exciting. I'm exciting. Her. I mean, I'm excited, not exciting. I mean, I could be excited. Never mind. Okay, just drive. I'm just rambling.
here with my good friends, Pastor Steve and Barbara. <laughs> Never mind, I'm leaving. I'm out the door. <laughs> Never mind. Just kidding. Anyway, they cooked us some delicious. Look at that. Is that tri-tip? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's pink too. It's perfect. And got asparagus. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. It's going to be a wonderful dinner. You know Ronnie's gonna like it. So if you forgot. Look at that, Ronnie. I left you some blood in there. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> like it's that. mooing. It's half I mooing. Got your back. <laughs> if you remember uh, way back in the day when I was doing vacuums and stuff, I briefly talked about it on the way here, but this is the man that got me out of umpiring softball when Elijah got sick. So we'll, we'll stop it right there for now. This is Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Romeo. Yeah, you're gonna have to cook that some Where more. Where for art thou, Romeo? Well, so, I'm right here. here. I'm right here. Anyways, that's not He's an old guy. He's are an old guy. Are you out of your mind? Oh, <laughs> Kaden wants to play a game of shoots and ladders. So Barbara and I are going to play some shoots and ladders with Kaden. So let's have some fun. Are you okay with being a boy? I'm fine with being a boy. You're fine with being a boy. <laughs> All right. right. All right, so. You can go first, Kaden. All right, four. Yes. Dude, you're already cheating? No. Barbara's turn. Two, I will move for you. One, two. Um, oh, are those arrows telling you where to go next? I guess I'm going to do five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Kaden's gonna win this game. We'll see what happens. Do I get to go up? Yes. Oh! It's an automatic win. That is the fastest game of shoots and ladders that we have ever played. Kaden, high five. You win. Good job, buddy. That was fun. Woo, it's been a long day. I am so appreciative of Pastor Stephen Barbara for letting us save the night. Barb. I haven't Barb, seen Barb, her Barb. in so long. I know we haven't it's seen her. It's absolutely her. ridiculous. So I appreciate them uh, letting us stay the night so we can do what we need to do tomorrow. This has been really fun. They but cooked, oh, did you, man, that asparagus I showed was it, awesome. I showed it. Ooh, I need a snack on some Well, asparagus. I just burped some up though, That's and it was gross. like really, really You're good. Gross. You're so gross. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, thumbs up, and maybe or maybe not, you'll see us tomorrow. I don't know how things will go. We, will we are busy, you. but thank you for being around when we are here. Make sure you press that red subscribe button. If you haven't yet, become part of the hopeful Mainville Minions here on YouTube. Remember, never, ever give up hope. Never give up hope. And no matter what your situation is, don't give up hope. And Even until tomorrow, see ya. Love you. Ciao. Bye.